Well, Alex John, it sure has picked up a lot here in Oracle in the last hour and a half or so. You can see the ground. We're by a gym, so we're undercover right now, but it is getting thick. It is sticking, and the roads aren't great. But I'm joined now with a resident here, Javier. He owns this gym here. How are you doing this morning? Good yourself. Good. So you've lived here your whole life. Yes. So you said this is rare for this time of year, right? Yeah, it's been quite some time since we've had a snow like this. So we also mentioned we just saw a car over there. Talk about how, how people drive around here when this happens. Well, well, here not too many people are used to the snow. You know, they comes maybe once, twice a year, but uh, get a lot of residents from out of Oracle come up here and don't know how to drive, so it makes it real hazardous on the road. Yeah, and you said it's gonna be kind of a nightmare the next couple of days. Yeah, you know, it'll stick, people will come up, and it just gets crazy. It's yeah. packed, and then the after effects of this aren't always nice. It's real muddy and dirty, so. True, and this is one, so later in the year, is this a lot at this time? Actually, it is. We don't usually see it at, you know, late in this year, but they said we're supposed to be getting quite a bit, so yeah. see and what happens. I thought it was interesting that people are still going to your gym right now. Yeah, well, see, we cater to a lot of the residents around here that work at the mine and the prison, so it's a shift work, so we open 24-7 for them. So despite the snow, people are still coming in. Dedication. <laughs> well, thank you so much for being here with us. And if you are hitting the road, you heard them, drive safe. So we talked to someone who is coming from Tucson for those mines. So a lot of people are headed here from Tucson who don't necessarily know how to drive in it. So if you are in this area, be careful on the roads. There are, I said earlier there was a snow plow going through, but not a lot of the roads have been cleared out, the main roads, and there might be ice underneath. So make sure you give yourself plenty of time, plenty of distance between you and the car in front of you, and make sure you drive slowly. But we're going to be out here the rest of the morning with an update. I'm going to send it back to you guys in the warm studio for now. <laughs>